Lo and behold. If someone says, Lo and behold, you can be sure that they are calling your attention to, telling you to look at something surprising, wonderful, important. Lo and behold, this is my new house. Your friend might be showing you the first house they ever owned. Maybe you just finished a mural that you had been working on for months. Lo and behold, my art is finally finished. Lo and behold, it's Sam. Where have you been? We haven't seen you for months. You might say gladly when a good friend finally shows up. As you can see, lo and behold is an imperative, a request calling other people's attention to something noteworthy, significant, impressive. The origin of the idiom, lo and behold, can be traced back to 1808 in a letter written by Sarah Spencer, Lady Littleton, a lady-in-waiting to Queen Victoria. Lo is simply a shortening of look and first appears in 1611 in the King James Version of the Christian Bible, one of the most influential texts in the development of the written English language. Thus, Lo and behold simply means look and see, but is used when the thing to be seen is attention-getting, interesting, or shocking. It is always impressive when someone shows us an accomplishment, attainment, or feat, but we should always remember that behind every achievement is a mountain of work. Lo and behold, after five years with my company, I am now a manager. You might be proudly telling your parents. Perhaps you're showing some friends around your hometown. Lo and behold, the Grand Canyon, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Lo and behold, it's Jamie walking out of a liquor store. You might say when you spot a friend that was supposed to give up alcohol. So, the next time you want to point out something astonishing or amazing, shocking or surprising, important or impressive, just say, Lo and behold!